Have you ever pulled your brake levers all the way down to the grip and not gotten that stopping power that you expect? It may not be an issue with your brake pads or bleeding. What it could be is that the throw of your brake lever needs to be adjusted. Today we're going to learn how to adjust your brake lever throw on your brake system. There are two ways to adjust the throw of your brake lever with tools and a tool is version. For levers needing a tool, check your user manual to see which tool you'll need, but it's usually a 2.5 or a Torx T25. For tool free systems, manufacturers have installed a small knob that you can turn with your fingers to adjust the throw. If you're turning the knob to the right, you're pulling the lever out. And if you're screwing it in to the left, you're bringing the lever in. While you're making these adjustments, put your hand on the grip as if you were in a riding situation. Most people are making this throw adjustment because their lever is too close to the grip. As you're creating more distance between the brake lever and the grip, you should feel more bite at the brake rotor. Continue making these adjustments so that you can comfortably pull the brake lever with your index finger. But you should have enough distance between the brake lever and the grip so that you can create as much power out of your brake system as possible. Once these adjustments are made, take it out for a quick ride to see if you need to make any other last adjustments. There is no set distance between the brake lever and your grip, but remember you do want all that stopping power. So make sure you can comfortably pull on the brake lever so you can get all that stopping power out of the brakes. That's our tech tip for today. If you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another tech tip. And until next time, enjoy the ride.